Hey guys, it's Blake and Leo. Uh, we're here today answering your questions um, that you submitted to us from Twitter with hashtag Helix read by Alex. Awesome. Okay, first question is, oh, we're gonna start off with a request from at RickJames32. Uh, Blake, Jawzod is your biggest fan ever. Can you please blow him a kiss? <laughs> oh, that, that was wow. a good one. Mm, seductive. <laughs> Next question is from at Jawzod. Uh, what model have you filmed with in the past that you'd like to have a second scene with? Mm, I think it would be Evan. Oh. Oh yeah, that was a good scene. <laughs> yeah, that was a good scene. That was a good scene. I would, I would probably pick Danny Nelson. Because that was a really good scene and, and like, he's just like developed even more as a performer now. So like, it would just be even better. And a really chill guy. Yeah, he's a really chill guy. Okay, next question is from <laughs> Francis Mastro MJ. Uh, for both. How slutty are you from 1 to 10? I keep it classy, so I'm not a slut. Um, so I'd say it like a 2. Yeah, I'd say a 2. That's just what a slut would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is from at xfire20992200 For Leo, how long have you been studying martial arts and are you a black belt? I mean, it's been a while, so I think... I practiced for like two years maybe, and then I never got to black belt because didn't have the time, but... What martial art did you do? Taekwondo. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. I'm surprised. I beat people up all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's actually what Leo does on Saturday nights. He just goes out to the worst neighborhood in his town I would, and just beats up criminals. I would pay money to watch you fight somebody. <laughs> I'll fight someone. <laughs> Okay, next question is from at Ken01. Uh, Blake, did you do any wrestling or football in high school? Uh, yeah, I did both. So freshman year was the only year I played football. And um, previously to that point, like my winter sport had always been swimming. But my sophomore year, um, the wrestling coach recruited me and I wrestled for two years. How do you look in a Speedo? Uh, distracting. Distracting. <laughs> See, I was always distracting in competition. I would get like a full semi, like <laughs> full semi and then put on the speed over the singlet because it just like throws the other guy off when it's, it's just like intimidation. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's soft, but it's big. Nobody wants to grab under your leg. When Nobody wants to. <laughs> uh, next question is from at Jaden Patricks. What's your dream city to live in? You know, I really miss Seattle and that whole area. So, but I think I'd actually pick Vancouver, Canada. I can't really choose one because that's not like me. I don't make decisions like that. But if I could go to like a place and be in a city for not to live, it'd be Auckland. So then, in New Zealand. So then I can meet my family over there and then just sleep. Next question is from at RickJames32. Leo, have you dated girls before? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Were you the bottom? <laughs> have you always been the bottom? Wait, I can't actually imagine you, you talked. No. Oh. I mean, someone was all like, can I ride your dick? And I was like, I don't know, I'm not really like into that. And <laughs> <laughs> In real life, would this happen? Like, yeah. And, and then they're like, please, I want to try it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things to like imagine in my head is like, 90 to 110 pound twinks just like topping 200 to 250 pound like professional wrestlers <laughs> like like the rock yeah, like yeah. like you topping the rock i would watch i would pay to watch that lord and the rock would be crunching all out <laughs> oh my god the whole yeah. Time. yeah pull my hair <laughs> i'd be like a little ant compared to him next question is from at born 10 years too early Blake, how excited slash nervous are you about the first release of the Rise Up series? And is it 100% biographical or is it just based on your experiences? Uh, I'm very excited for the release of the first Rise Up series, His Own Way Out. Um, it comes out July 1st, I think. And very excited for that and for the book tour. A lot of the stories in it did happen to me. Uh, the names have been changed and maybe a few of the details have been changed, but overall the story is... is uh, is my experience, so. Uh, next question is from at Jawzod. If you could go five years in the past, what advice would you give yourself? <sighs> to do better in school. 
I think I'd probably tell myself to go ahead and start prioritizing like nutrition and working out more and like working out properly. I think that's what I would go ahead and tell myself. Okay, next question is from at Jawzod. Uh, which Helix model would you like to take out of retirement to film a scene with? Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh, ooh. Um, does it have to be a Helix model? Can I pick an 18 by model? Uh, I would probably, I guess I'd pick like Hunter Graham because he was always super cute. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's super nice. Yeah, he's awesome. Next question is from at Keanu8327437. Blake, would you film a scene with the trans guy? Absolutely. No question. Not even... Yeah. Who would it be? Uh, I would film with uh, this guy named Alex Birdie, who is British. Uh, I've been watching him since I was like, yeah, I was 18. And he was one of like the first trans guys I ever followed on YouTube. And so I've like watched his journey from like 2012 to now. And it's amazing because I literally got to watch him transform. And now he has a better, like he has a beard and I don't, can't even grow facial hair. It's like, he's like oh, more he's of F a man. FTM? Yeah, and he's like more of a man than me. It's crazy. Like. <laughs> Next question is from at Ross McCreeth 3. Uh, how often do you guys have sex outside of the studio? <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is from at Gypsy Rose 902 Blake, how do you feel about your status as an advocate for bisexual men in the porn industry? Well, I'm glad that you think of me that way. I appreciate that. Uh, I just hope that I can be a role model for other bisexual people and let them know that it's like, you know, whether you're doing straight porn or you're doing gay porn, that you're still bisexual and nobody can take that away from you. Um, nobody. Nobody. And so I'm, I'm happy if people think of me as an advocate. <laughs> uh, next question is from at Rick James 32. What's your favorite scary movie? I don't like scary movies. Yeah, I don't, mm -mm, no. Not unless really? someone, I unless feel like someone paying someone $11 like... to be scared. My friends do that all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll watch a scary movie with like a guy, so then I can like. <laughs> See, the thing is, if you watch a scary movie with me, this would be me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> oh, that's very rude. I'm just saving myself some time later. <laughs> Are you in a rush? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is from at Jawzod. Blake, would you like to be a porn director in the future? Um, yeah, yeah, I have some ideas for some stuff that I'd love to do. I wouldn't know how to produce a film from start to finish. Like I wouldn't, I'd, I'd be like, I'd just like get in there and I'd be like, ah, uh, now what? So I think I'd need some training first. Uh, next question is from at I'm such a twink for both of you. <laughs> What's your favorite way to be pounded? On my stomach. So then I can just lay there and take it. <laughs> that is one of my favorite positions as well. Wow. Goals. <laughs> Goals. Next question is from at Roseherd556. For both of you, what kinds of things turn you on during sex? Uh, I really like dirty talk, but nobody ever like wants to do that, I think, because I think they're afraid that they're gonna like say something stupid, but they don't realize that it's like, okay, it's dirty talk, you're in the middle of like this certain experience. Yes, what you're saying would sound stupid outside of it, but in this moment, it's gonna make sense, it's gonna be fine. But they're, all they're thinking about is like, oh, that would sound stupid in a normal situation, but it's not a normal situation, so like, you know, that's probably, yeah. I guess like whenever people talk like really dominantly towards me. Yeah, I like doing that. So. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> should we take some requests? Yeah. M-R-T-N-S-M-X. Uh, for Blake. Blake, can you tickle Leo's feet for one minute? Mm, no. And don't let him squirm away because he's a fighter. Oh, good. I actually love doing this and torturing people and tickling people, so. This is why I undid the shoes. I feel like you don't need these anymore for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, hold up, come here. Don't be trying to, where are you going? <laughs> Wait, you don't like it? No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I know you guys really want him to tickle me, but I don't like it. <laughs> In case you're so dumb, I got him. Straw. I got him. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's good wow. stuff. Ten more seconds. Yeah, ten more seconds. What? I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh god! That was great. <laughs> I'm gonna do that right before you're about to come. <laughs> Just start to clean your feet. <laughs>